Many of you are familiar with the rule of 56. Can I cut to whiteboard? Okay. Ignore. Okay. And I want to go thicker here. There we go. Okay. There. Now, you guys all know, or at least you should know, that the rule of 56 is 25 letters. These are marketing pieces that are being mailed out. 25 phone calls that are being called to follow up on the letters that have been sent. 25 phone calls. Four offers written. And two networking events. Now, what you should also know is that when you do these things consistently for a period of 52 weeks, that it will generate a minimum of $100,000 in revenue, okay? So $100,000 in revenue by doing the following things. Now, I had an interesting question the other day. They said, Lee, we love the rule of 56. It makes sense. It's KPIs that we can track and we can follow but we want to generate more than $100,000 a year in income. So how do we do that? Well, guys, if these metrics give you $100,000 in income and you would like to make $200,000 in income, then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna double down. We're gonna go 50 letters, 50 phone calls, eight offers and four networking events. If you do those functions, you get to 200,000. Now, what if we want to do a million? If I want to do a million, I'm just going to go through and add a zero. I'm going to do 250 letters per week. We're going to make 250 outbound calls. Uh, we're going to make 40 offers. And we're going to attend 20 networking events. Obviously, that's going to be more challenging to do unless we hire some help. But I think we can all agree, you guys, that whatever goal you want to achieve lands somewhere in this metric. Now, for those of you that are certified private money brokers, master brokers, broker of records, for you guys, you know that we have the rule of 54. Same thing, 25 marketing pieces. 25 phone calls, two networking events, and we're going to send out two LOIs. Those are letters of intent, okay? So these are offers to fund people's deals. And if you will simply do these things, you generate $100,000 per year. So I know that many of you here are actually doing both. You are on the real estate investment side. You're also on the uh, private money brokering side. Well, how about we do the rule of 56 and the rule of 54? These two things combined would give us $200,000 a year in income. But $200,000 a year in income is $50,000 a month. Oh, I'm sorry, $50,000 a quarter. So if we're gonna start here and we wanna do $100,000 and we just wanna focus on the real estate stuff, then we need to be generating 25K per quarter to keep us on track. So now I want you guys to take the number that you put in here for the next 87 days, and I want you to annualize it into 2022. And then I want you to reverse engineer or back into the number of activities that you will need to do to hit the 2022 target. So go ahead and do that now. So let, let me take somebody as an example here. Okay, let's see here. All right, here's one of you that between now and the end of the year is gonna make 75 grand, okay? Well, if we need to do 75 grand in the next 87 days, 
then what we're essentially tracking for 2022 is going to be 300,000. Because 75K times four, which is four quarters of next year is 300K, okay? So now we come over here and we look at the rule of 56. And if these functions produce 100,000, we need 300,000, then you're gonna to need to do 75 letters. You're gonna to need to do 75 outbound calls. You're gonna to need to do 12 offers per week. And you need to go and attend six networking events. Okay, so again, all I did is I took whatever your goal is between now and the end of the year, times all of four, right, go away. I don't know how to make that go away. Anyway, okay, so here's what we got. Ken, you're the one who put 75K in the next 87 days. So for 2022, you need to generate $300,000 in income. You're gonna do it by 75 letters, 75 outbound calls, 12 offers a week, and six networking events. Simple, right? Uh, let's see here, Debbie. Debbie's gonna do $40,000 by the end of the quarter. So 40 at four. Debbie, you're doing $160,000. So you need to do a subset of, you know, you're probably looking at 40 letters, 40 phone calls, if you're gonna generate $160,000 in the next year all right now what this does you guys is it gives us a systematized process of doing the functions that require us to generate the income too often we focus on the net margin or the gross income without focusing on the things that generate the income so we say things like i'm going to make fifty thousand dollars over the next 87 days but we don't think of it in terms of action how many phone calls? How many marketing pieces? How many network events? How many offers do we have to write? This is how you should be constructing your goals for 2022. Now for us as a company, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna take what we generated in 2021, we're gonna add 20% to it in most categories, and then we're going to figure out where do we need to grow and scale to now achieve a 20% increase over 2021. Now guys, we're a large business. So 20% increase for us is pretty sizable. When you're doing a hundred or $200,000, a 20% increase would only be like 20 or 40 grand. That's not significant. Uh, it's very common for first and second and third year companies to be increasing at 400 and 500 and a thousand percent. And you guys can easily go from $10,000 in revenue this year to a hundred thousand dollars next year. Well, that's a thousand percent increase. That's pretty good. So, Look at where you're at, look at where you wanna go, and then again, create the steps that are gonna take you to that number, all right?